Steve Modestro, 2001 Brookway Crescent. I'm very disturbed about. I'm something. sorry, Mr. Modestro, can you address the board? Oh, can I address the board? Okay. Well, I think I want to address the people. Not the public board. comment is for addressing the board. Okay, thank you. When good people do nothing, evil triumphs. I am disturbed that a person could abuse their power and take away a person's civil rights to free speech, freedom to assembly, and the right to due process of law. It is clear that American values have been thrown out the window. How can a person be banned from a public meeting without evidence of doing something illegal? Just because you do not agree with something someone said or what someone stands for does not give you the right to take that away from that individual's rights of freedom of speech. I'm sorry, excuse me, is that related to the agenda? Yes, because it speaks to what happened to an individual, and it's a reason why we shouldn't we shouldn't vote for Ms. Garrett's contract. Thank you for tying that together for me. Clearly, this is a violation of the person's civil rights. I say that this now to the community at large. If we sit back and let this happen to one person, what will stop them from taking your rights? If we do not stand as a community against this tyranny, then we are all lost. I might not agree with the person, but I believe in their rights as a citizen of the United States to speak their peace. We turn our back as a community on these tyrannical tactics that will never stop, and you can you can be next. The form of imitation, intimidation is used in other countries that do not have freedoms that are guaranteed by the Bill of Rights and the Constitution of this great land. We cannot have a BOE take a blind eye to the questionable activities of this administration. This administration is attempting to stifle its opposition by false arrests, false documentation, and misrepresentation of the truth. Each taxpayer of Wayne Central has a right to attend an open meeting and speak their mind. What the administration has done is wrong, and the board is also wrong for turning a blind eye. When the news media, media, news media were banned from this meeting, this administration violated the constitution of this great land for a free press and every Wayne Central taxpayer's civil rights. These tactics must stop. We need this community to reevaluate this administration and its leadership. This administration has crossed the line they have bullied teachers, parents, students, building staff, and all taxpayers with these heavy and all taxpayers with these heavy-handed tactics. Tactics it must stop now. I know I probably put a target on my back, and that's <laughs> something I've done. And I fear for my children now because I've done that, and I shouldn't have that fear. Thank you. Right.